Welcome back to another edition of the Eleusinian Society. What are the Eleusinian Mysteries? When choosing the namesake of this channel, I wanted to pick a title that would perfectly encompass the type of teachings which this channel would produce. A name that would create the perfect theme for the types of interests and knowledge which have become such a large part of my life. In doing so, I went with the Eleusinian Society, a group that would bring a modern-day meaning to the Temple of Eleusis and its Eleusinian mysteries, which were practiced by some of the greatest and influential minds of ancient Greece. The Eleusinian mysteries were practices and initiations held every year in the Panhellenic Temple of Eleusis, a suburb town of West Attica, Greece. The main hall where these events occurred was known as the Telesterion, or Initiation Hall. The mysteries were practiced by members of the cult of Demeter and Persephone, and are known to be the most famous of the secret religious rites of ancient Greece. Demeter, the Olympian goddess of harvest and agriculture, presided over crops and grains and earthly fertility. She was also the sister of Zeus. Her daughter Persephone, who was conceived by Demeter through her brother Zeus, has a very interesting story in mythology. While Persephone was out picking flowers in a field, the ground opened and suddenly a chariot driven by the lord of the underworld, Hades, kidnapped her and dragged her to the depths of his realm. Her mother, frantic over her daughter's whereabouts, searched for a lengthy amount of time before being informed by Apollo of her daughter's capture. As it turned out, Zeus approved the capture of his own daughter by Hades behind the back of Demeter. An enraged Demeter used her Olympian powers to seize all plant growth, a move which would create a famine across the land, and therefore a distrust from the mortals toward Zeus and the other Olympians. The distrust from humanity towards the gods forced Zeus to allow Persephone to return to her mother, but Hades had given her seeds from the pomegranate fruit, which are considered to be the food of the underworld. Because she had tainted her body with a hellish fruit, she was forced to live a third of the year with Hades, and the other two-thirds above ground. Every year, when Persephone is forced to return to Hades, Demeter still weeps for her daughter's captivity, and this is how the Greeks account for summer and winter seasons. The Eleusinian Mysteries were first recorded to have been practiced around 600 BC and continue to be practiced till around 400 AD. The Mysteries themselves regarded the belief in life after death, a tenet held by many religions and organizations today. The ceremony began when the initiate was shown an array of objects, including a stalk of grain, which symbolized the seed of life. Actors then portray a play featuring the story of Demeter, who disguised as an old woman who was taken captive by Cretan pirates, finds a well where the four daughters of King Kaleos and Queen Metanera found her and took her to their palace to assist with nursing their brother Demophoon. Demeter uses nectar and ambrosia to raise Demophoon back to health. This is when Metanera finds out about the healing of her son and insults the disguised Demeter, which prompts the Olympian goddess to burst out of her disguise and intimidate the queen to build a temple dedicated to her. This temple became the place where Demeter would wait while Zeus contemplated the return of Persephone from Hades. The temple where initiates would partake in their degrees is a copy of the one Metanera built for Demeter, in a similar fashion to King Solomon's temple and the Freemasons. The mysteries began with the march of the Mystai, or initiates, in silent procession from Athens to Eleusis. The rites performed in the Telesterion, or the Hall of Initiation, were to be completely secret. There is no sure evidence of what the rites were though some accounts written by later Christian authors condemn the mysteries as pagan in nature. It is certain, however, that the members were initiated in stages and that the yearly process began with the purification rites that were called Lesser Mysteries held at Agrai on the banks of Elysos outside of Athens, 
around late winter to early spring. The greater mysteries at Eleusis were celebrated annually in the fall. It included a ritual bath in the Aegean Sea, three days of fasting, and a ceremony, which to this day still puzzles historians as to any evidence of its inner works. When all these were completed, the initiate was rewarded with ancient knowledge and some kind of benefit both on earth and after death. Although the practices of this group are relatively unknown, traces of their beliefs and structure can be compared to other groups which have existed for centuries after the Eleusinian rites. We may never recover the secrets hidden inside the temple walls of ancient Greece, but as long as those who thirst for true knowledge keep their mind open, humanity will still hold a thread internally which has been stripped off the spool of hermetic wisdom. I'd like to thank all of you for the wonderful support this channel has gotten. I wasn't expecting this channel to grow so quickly, but through your support, we are able to keep pushing out videos. If you have any suggestions for further content, please message down below in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe to see more videos.